integrate procurement objects from source to pay operations to SAP ECC and SAP S4 HANA. This integration provides you with the ability to fetch master data objects from SAP into ServiceNow and send records like purchase order, receipt, and invoice created in source to pay operations to SAP ECC and SAP S4 HANA. To get started, let's set up the integration. We'll navigate to the ERP source configuration page and map the target ERP system with the right ERP source. Then, we'll configure connections. In the connection alias field, we'll provide the connection details for the destination ERP, including instance URL, username, and password. Next, we'll configure integration services. In the ERP source configuration page, navigate to the integration services tab. To configure an integration service, go to the ERP source page and navigate to SAP ECC. Enter the query parameters. Then select Run Job. Repeat for each integration service. After we've run all our jobs, we can view the status of a job by navigating to the Job Tracker table. If a job failed, an error will be added to the Job Tracker, where we can evaluate the error information, resolve the error, and then initiate the integration once again. After all the jobs are complete and all data has been retrieved, primary data integration setup is complete. Now we can perform basic transactions, including creating purchase orders, generating receipts, creating invoices, and creating suppliers. To create a purchase order, log in to SPO. We'll navigate to Shopping Hub, where we'll select the preferred delivery location and supplier. Here, we'll choose a goods or services product from the selected supplier and add it to the cart. In the cart, we'll give delivery and payment information. and check out. When we do, a PR purchase requisition is created. To view it, we'll navigate to Procurement Workspace, select Requisitions, and open the PR. In the PR, there's one entry against the selected PR in the Purchase line within the Details tab. We need to make sure the state dropdown value is Final Review. Then, we'll select Create Purchase Order and the purchase order is created. A receipt task entry is also created in the Purchasing Tasks tab. We can see that the purchase order created in ServiceNow has automatically been pushed to SAP. The purchase order number ending 7218 in SAP is the same as the ERP number in ServiceNow. We can also see that the purchase org, purchase group, and company code details have also been pulled from ServiceNow. The purchase order with two service lines, one good and one service, created in ServiceNow has also been pushed to SAP. Now that we've generated a receipt, we can create an invoice. To create an invoice, let's log into APO. We'll navigate to Procurement Workspace. Select New to create an invoice. The Create New Invoice window will open. Here, we can enter additional invoice details, including supplier invoice number, supplier, purchase order, value for subtotal, invoice date, and default tax code, and select Save. Then, we'll go to the Invoice Line tab and select New. The Create New Invoice Line window will open here, we'll input the line description, purchase order line number, invoice line quantity, line unit price and subtotal, and select Save. To view invoice details, we can select View Invoice Processing Case and then select Submit Invoice. If there are no exceptions, an invoice is created and its status is set to Approved. Now, let's create a supplier. To add a new supplier, we'll navigate to SLO 
and select New to open the supplier creation window. We need to enter a valid legal name and select Yes for onboarded. After we enter the minimal information required to create a new supplier, we can select Submit. A new supplier has now been created. To add additional information, we can select the recently created supplier in the Supplier List View page. To add legal entity information for the supplier, we'll go to the Supplier Legal Entity Mappings tab and select New. Enter the details and select Submit. To add location information, we'll go to the Supplier Location tab, select New, enter the details, and select Submit. Now we've created and updated a new supplier. With this integration, all the procurement objects created in Source to Pay can now be sent to SAP ECC and SAP S4 HANA seamlessly. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.